Hey, good morning, everybody. It's Jay with WilmingtonRealEstate.com. Estate.com. What is the latest and the greatest with the Carolina Beach oceanfront condos for sale market? Well, it's been pretty intense, and that's sort of what I've been predicting the last few years and telling people, buy now, buy now, buy now, because uh, every year you're going to lose double-digit um, income in terms of appreciation besides the rental revenue. And I have a couple examples as of late that are sort of putting 2019 into perspective for Carolina Beach condos. By the way, this, this focus on the Carolina Beach real estate does to a certain level cover the whole region and is representative. It just happens that our market in Carolina Beach is especially investor friendly because we have high rents combined with low HOA fees usually which eke out that extra couple percent of profit for investors. So it's a special beach. It's very busy. Some people want to connect Riviera and be a negative about it. But for an investor, uh, there's nothing to be negative about. It's a winner if to, to have in your portfolio. All right. So uh, recently, a one-bedroom, second-row property here, just 1,000 at Sands 1. We'll just look at a couple photos of it. Um, standard balcony. Uh, nice direct ocean view. Sands does have a pool and it is, uh, it shows well because it has wood floors and an updated kitchen. So it's not even that updated. Look at these counters, might be original. They put in a backsplash. Cabinets are newer. Uh, older appliances. So it's not pottery barn whatsoever, but it's painted nicely, crisp and clean. That closed for 201. Why that's interesting is because those just a couple of years ago uh, would have closed for 160 on the second row. And then <clears throat> another example here, this just closed. It's the highest closing for a 2-2 that I'm aware of in a long time. This is at Sun Skipper. Sun Skipper is a nice condominium because it has pools. I think it has two pools. So this is a two-bedroom, two-bath oceanfront. And it uh, just closed recently for $375,000. Now, uh, most of these, as of late, have been closing in uh, the low 300s. And this, is just, this one's just uh, way up there. Why, why this extreme surge? Well, the price has been going up for a while. One challenge is we have this horrible lack of inventory right now. I call it a, a real estate situation, and it's pretty extreme. We are, we're looking at 40% less inventory across the board, and it's even more pronounced with the oceanfront niche of condos in Carolina Beach. Um, the other thing, you look at the prices here. I, I have one, <clears throat> if I can pull it up here. Going back three years... Prices have gone up, hopefully this will fit on my chart, 25% uh, right there. But if you look at even in the, just the last year and you do the same thing, I'm going to try and do a, uh, a little uh, cutout here live with you to make it more interesting to look at visually. Um, just the last year alone, we have a, uh, I calculated it out to be 20 percent uh, increase in the condo prices at Carolina Beach. So a um, couple of things for perspective. This, this property at its peak, uh, let's get back to it. These two twos at their peak ocean fronts, they were probably closing like 500. Um, I've been saying, I've been thinking anyway, we're not going to get back to the peaks. We're going to go up close though because now we don't have interest only loans, we don't have no doc loans. I, I literally go back in and I some, see some bizarre previous sold prices like I was at Surf City I think or Topsail Beach. There was a, a home listed for 385 that had uh, closed for 800 before. And I'm thinking that must have been one of those interest only no doc type loans uh, during the frenzy. So we have controls in place for the market to not get out of hand but with this severe inventory shortage and what I've predicted with an, a great economy um, that I was expecting going back several years ago, that uh, the prices are going back and they're probably going to go back up 
real close to the previous peaks. There's still a lot of upside left, but uh, the time to buy is now. Don't wait much longer. You'll be sorry for it. The last three years, every year that you waited, you might have lost, you know, uh, $15,000 in value, for example. So it's a serious deal. With 2019, the rental season's about to arrive for the vacation rentals in Carolina Beach and North Carolina. So it behooves you to get under contract and get your home out there for rentals uh, by May. So the time's running out on that endeavor. Thanks so much. And I look forward to negotiating the best possible deal with you. Next, I'm going to do a, an article on how to win at real estate when there's no inventory. And I know a lot about this from my experience, both locally, but especially in Northern Virginia, where for uh, seven years I was a top 1% agent in the most wealthy county in America. And for a long time there, we were in the frenzy. There was always three to ten competing offers, etc., so I became a ninja, a grandmaster at helping people win at real estate when there was no inventory. I'll talk to you soon.